Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Chogo the Chocobo, and welcome back to some crazy craft live. And we have put our div 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 division sigil away for now. And we are going to be starting off this episode with a actual very important quest. Party Cow seems a little bit lonely. Party Cow is... He, he needs companionship, or she needs companionship. So we are going to go get a Party Bull. Now, Party Bull better not do anything sketchy with Party Cow. This Party Cow is very dear to us. And we don't we don't want Party Cow getting taken advantage of, you know, after a couple of couple of free things of grass, you know, sometimes things can get a little bit crazy. But hopefully this bull will treat her with respect. Party bull. Alright, party bull. Meet your fiance and party. Oh wow, she's giving you the cold shoulder. Okay, I know that I am a fine specimen with my Luigi hat, and I just looked straight up its butt. All right, but that is not. I don't have any. Just you two, be together. I am a matchmaker, right? Darn it, you you two will fall in love if it's the last thing. <gasps> you don't you walk away from me. That's what I thought. Right, you hang out with her. You will like it. All right. And now that we played matchmaker, look, ooh, look at them getting cozy. So I heard that Party Cow and Party Bull are totally into each other. Oh my god. Sorry, I had to get that out of my system. I just, I saw the opportunity for gossiping. I never really did that, and I just couldn't resist the urge. But, oh, and I completely forgot. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it in the last episode, or two episodes prior, but... I don't remember. Um, did I mention this mob spawner? Did, did I did I mention the grinder on a YouTube episode? I don't think I did. All right. Well, you know what? If I did, I'm sorry, but uh, it's gonna be a it's gonna probably be a longer episode anyway. Actually, honestly, but um, this is the mob spawner, the mob grinder. So, uh, it's, it's quite intense, and the mob grinder, and we added this little floor here because we were experimenting with some very sketchy stuff. Wither bosses are very rude. Um, but yeah, basically the way the mob grinder works, and I think, I, you know what, I think I, I discussed it on stream, but I never actually uh, did it on a YouTube episode. So, the way this works is this is my version of a mob grinder. It's extremely sophisticated, has absolutely the best in Quay technology, and so... Um, we utilize this thing to farm resources and items, especially alchemy items, because that's a really big pain to get. But voila, and boom. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, Choco, you, you very handsome, dapper fellow you. This seems like it's just very, very intense. How in the world did you make it? And what is the inspiration behind it? Well, you may be surprised to hear this, but this is actually uh, mostly something called gravity. It's all the rage now. Everyone's doing it. Literally everyone. I don't think there's a single exception to that rule in terms of anyone, at least on this planet. I don't think anyone is uh, going anywhere else without some gravity in their lives. So uh, it's it's very cool. And so the way that this works is that uh, we just we simplify the system actually a little bit, even from the stream one, where the radiation blocks up there are completely gone, and we just made it so it they shouldn't have anything like hanging out on the top there. But as soon as they fall down, they fall into this little platform of conveyor belts. It pushes them into some blocks of gamma radiation. And all these things are at least two blocks tall, so whenever they get carried over, they get swept into it. They either fall from a, uh, well, they, they're falling for me, honestly. It's just that falling for me is a little bit dangerous. I'm, oh, that's creepy. Kill it! Kill it with fire! All right. But anyways, yeah, it's, uh, it drops them if they don't die from it, because there are boss mobs and stuff like that in Crazy Craft, as you may know. And so, because that we do have these couple of things that are like really resilient, awkwardly, um, that gamma radiation blocks do damage them on contact, which is extremely handy, and we kind of take advantage of that. But we obviously are using soul shards for it. It's pretty cool. It's pretty nifty, and a very good source of the alchemy ingredients, especially. Um, you have no idea. It's actually really, really handy. It also is a very good source of iron stuff. So. You can see here we have a sorting system already set up. We have this transfer node kind of going ham taro and whatnot. And it's uh, it's pretty good. 
It organizes stuff for us automatically. This chest is the place where it all gathers first, but then it'll slowly process as time goes on and fill it in. So let me just see here. Let me make sure I'm not... Yep, okay, so the iron ingots are being placed into the iron ingot pool here. You can see it's going up quite rapidly, actually. I was kind of surprised. It jumped by six. Um, but yeah, very handy. Very, very nice and good to have. We also have a good source of wool, thank God. Because there's a surprisingly large number of stuff that uses that. Glass bottles, glowstone dust, redstone dust, sticks. I don't know why sticks. The witches drop them. Um, spider eyes, sugar, string. What was this? Uh, friggin' lemonite, iron ingots, and gunpowder. And I never knew this, actually, but apparently witches drop gunpowder? Which is a really nice thing to have, actually. But yeah, really cool grinder. Very, very handy. Has no lava or anything like that, so it's 100% yield. And more importantly, this is Soul Shard, so I can just turn it on and off. It doesn't lag the server down whatsoever. And, like, if I just leave it on for a little bit, since they're all tier 5, I get a lot of resources for it. Um, and I could actually, if I really want so I can turn one on individually uh, compared to the rest of them. So, very cool stuff. Uh, certainly not something that um, is very hard. If you do have Crazy Craft for yourself, you could probably do this on your own. Just make something that's ridiculously tall. You know, make some walls so they don't, like, wander off course, and then BAM! Right into conveyor belts. This is actually a pretty low-cost build solution for you. So, there's that. Take it to the bank, cash it, chew on it a little bit, spit it out after you realize it's not something that's very good to chew. But anyways, today we're going to be doing something that I thought would never happen. That I thought was preposterous. I just refused to admit that there was even possibility that may occur in Crazy Craft. And frankly, I don't have access to the server files. I know there is something that you can do with regards to uh, Crazy Craft and this particular thing that we're doing today. But I don't have those files! And so I cannot do it. But what we are doing is we are... I'm lonely. Alright. I am lonely, not in a romantic way, but just sometimes you want a bro in Crazy Craft. And sometimes I don't have a bro to hang out with. It's an awkward turtle situation. But I think, even though it's the bane of my existence, we can find a way to take the cake and just be the king of the server by rolling with a group with encouragement people to go all the way to the end with who we can have some hugs together and I will tip my hat to and we won't point fingers at each other for any mistakes that we made indeed the bad puns are now over I, 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 but I, I really do want a nice hat darn it I don't want to have that I'm not no I, I don't I want a nice hat darn it what I don't know what hat to do what do I do um, um, uh, that's kind of cute. I'll keep you for now. But we are going to be doing, we're going to be doing boyfriends. But before, before, no, no, don't have a conclusion, hold on. Boyfriends, but they're going to be our crew. They're going to be our bros, all right? They are not going to be our love interests. I don't want them hitting on me. Now, I think, if I'm not mistaken, boyfriends are able to be silenced. So, uh, word out to you ladies, and, you know, if you're a dude and you're whatever, I'm not here to judge you. I ain't, I ain't got time for that. Um, but, we're going to take our boyfriends here, and I believe there is a way for us to silence them with rubies. So, apparently, who knew? I, apparently, I guess if a girl walked up to me, or a dude walked up to me, and they just like, here's a giant ruby! I'd be like, gobsmacked. I'd be like, what? Like, I would be speechless at that point. So yeah, I guess that's fair. Because I certainly wouldn't know what to do in that situation. And I'd be like, what the crap is wrong with you? Um, but, you know, it is what it is. You gotta roll with it sometimes. So, we are going to be going ahead and getting boyfriends so we can have a crew. Now, um, the first... I, we still haven't fought the king yet, right guys? And I don't know if I actually made it explicit on the last episode, but I'm not planning to fight the king with the construct magic anymore. It was just really disappointing. Like, honestly, I was going through it and I was like, really? Like, that's the best you got? Like, really? Um, it was kind of, it was extremely disappointing. Let's, let's not beat around the bush here. It was sad. Um, so what, and what, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to fight it solo and then I might do some other things with, like, you know, maybe some demon spawns I'll bring him into the fight. 
Obviously, Maximus Volcanus. Was it Volcanus? No, Vulcan. It was just Vulcan. And then... I forgot what the last one was. I forgot one of my children's names. Vulcan? Maximus? Ooh, crap. <laughs> Whoopsie doodles! I forgot one of my children's names! Um, but yeah. We, we might take them into battle. I think they're aching for a fight. Honestly, man, I can't believe... I can't, no, I can't do this. I, I, I'm gonna feel so guilty. I forgot one of my children's names. Oh crap, it's gonna, oh well, okay. Ugh, it's gonna bother me now. Please, Strim. Okay, maybe Strim will tell me as I'm going through with this, but me and my bro friends, as Strim is very quick to nickname them, me and my bro friends are going to be having ourselves a good time and uh, we're gonna just rock it out. And, ooh, actually, I don't think I'll have enough experience for it. All right, well, Captain Planet, what do you think? Earth, wind, fire, water, heart, go planet. All right, so there's five planeteers and I can be one too because saving the planet is the thing to do. I am, I just, I don't know why I did that. It's just very strange <laughs> that I did that in retrospect, but it's okay, you guys, I know you guys love me for who I am. And certainly not because I am not a planeteer, and I totally thought that heart was a cool power. What? Alright, so anywho, the doodles, we are going to be going ahead and doing some crazy stuff with these boyfriends. And we're going to use five of them because we are not greedy. And actually, this is going to sound terrible, but I need to kill a couple. And the reason why I have to kill a couple is because they have controllers, apparently. What do you say? Oh, I can't hit him with a sword. Um, let's bury the, well, bury the hatchet. Really? You don't die, dude. You are a beast. This guy clearly lifts. Dang, yo, this dude's buff as sin. Jesus. All right. So I can't kill him with a. Alright, come on. Uh oh. Come on. Yeah, well, you know what? I'm gonna beat you down, kid. Come here, you nerd. Alright, give me all your controllers. Can I craft anything with these? Nope. So I just have a ton of controllers, and you know what I'm gonna do? Mm hmm. I know exactly where this is going. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. And. Oh! <gasps> we don't have a. What? Okay, water. It's gonna leave. Wait, you throw them? What is this, Batman? Okay, apparently you throw them. So we now have weapons of ultimate destruction in the form of controllers. I did not know that. I guess it's supposed to be a joke about us raging. I don't really understand. I'm not gonna ask questions. Just, just not gonna. Oh, Joe coins. Hold on, Joe coins exploded. It's been exploding a lot. I don't know why. Don't, don't really understand it. But it's got fixed. Alright. Alright, so we have five boyfriends remaining. They are the strongest of the kin. And we are going to go ahead and name them Choco Bros. Actually, I just could call them Choco Bro. And let's capitalize the B in case they don't. Alright. In case we get separated, people are like, what the heck is going on? We're just going to do it this way. And I need steak to tame them, which is 100% accurate. So if you're on the dating scene, you want a boy of your own, just, I want you to just do this. Just trust me on it. I play Minecraft. Just trust me, okay? You walk up to them with a steak. You have to cook it, but as long as you walked up, any, and I'm sure all the guys will agree with me here. If a girl, or actually if a dude told me, hey, come on over, I got some steak. I mean, if you walk up to me with a filet, and you wave it in front of me, I'll probably follow you. I'm not gonna ever really ask questions. As long as you tell me it's mine, and I get it, and you tell me this more follow, I, 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 I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I could fight that off. I don't. I think I would have a hard time resisting the urge. And party cow, look away. You don't, you don't wanna know what's about to happen to some of your kin. Something terrible is about to happen. 
And I don't want you to be aware of what's going on. Party cow! Don't look! Alright, we have to go... Oh no. Oh, this is an awkward moment. <laughs> Do you cook on the... No, you don't cook on the spot. Okay then, well... I can't whistle, I can't awkward whistle. There we go. Oh wait, that's aviator helmet. And honestly, just forget chickens. Chickens are free in the devil. Oh man. Alright, we're gonna... Okay, we're gonna... What? What does Samuel... Okay, um... Huh. I guess we might as well just... No! Turp! Turbulence, I promise you, one day, I'm gonna pull, oh, never mind, we're good, we're good. Alright, so we have raw beef in here, we just need to have a source of energy, which I think we still have our coal blocks out there, so let's go ahead and grab one of those. Yes, we do, because we are geniuses. Alright, one block of coal should be more than an ample amount of energy and power. To go ahead and get us cooking, literally. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. And you know what? Actually, in retrospect, I really should have split them apart. Oh well. It was not the smartest decision I've ever made, but, you know, it will do. Alright, so let's go ahead and spawn our choke bros in. <laughs> Which of the following do not belong? Wow, we have like two, like the twins, we got the cool guy, we got the kind of like party dude, and then we got, we got this guy who clearly is the main character. And then we got the two twins. This is literally turning into like an Auron High thing. Oh man. I'm pretty excited. Alright, so, Choka Bros, you are gonna guard this land from Terra Dirty. But first... I need to get you some steak. Alright. This is steak for... Oh, I gave him! You greedy son of a gun! Wait, are you already my bros? Do I not need to actually do that for you? I think they might actually already be my bros. Wait, hold on. Let's, let's test. Wait, hold on. If I can, you know, figure out how to walk through a door. Are you actually bros? Or, like, what's up? No? Okay, well I just feel betrayed right now. I feel like I expected something out of our friendship and these guys are just not having any of it. Gave them steak. What did I do? I I just don't understand. What? Why did I go wrong? I gave him meat! I just I, I took a steak and I threw it at him! What? What mark did you possibly want from me? Hold on, maybe I need more... Excuse me, party cow. I need to... Hold on, maybe if I give him controllers... Oh, okay. Well, I threw one at him. That wasn't quite what I was hoping to get accomplished. If I shift-click... Nope, that still throws him at him. Alright, so... Oh, how does one tame... Okay, maybe we just have to keep on throwing steak at him. Uh, that's my current operating theory. We just need to keep throwing a mountain of steaks at them. And then eventually they will realize that we were meant to be best friends. And the beeping is back. One day I'm going to just start cursing and then that's going to be the most clutch thing in the world. But for now it's just really annoying. You, away with you, away with you, away with you. Party cow, disregard the moves. I know it's really, really sad moves, but... Ooh, I got a new hat. Alright, worth. Never mind, party cow. You can judge me if you want. I got a hat from it. And I know that party cow is the kind of gal who don't mind no cow killing in case I get a hat. Alright. Ooh, wait. Okay, that was kind of weird. I right-clicked and it just kind of burst into flame. Oh, wow. It cooks some of them randomly. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, wait. My, my. Alright, so we have 16 steaks now that were apparently instantly cooked. So it's extremely fresh. And if you don't like this beef that is so fresh 
Like, literally, the... <sighs> Party cow! I know you weren't on board for this plan, but surely there was a better thing to do than invite all of them over. Wait, where's Party Bull at? Uh-oh. Oh, that's Party Bull. Man, just... You and Party Cow collaborate! Look at you standing near the wall. Don't you taunt me. A Party Cow. She's like, I outsmarted you. Oh, and you, you're in cahoots with a Chocobro! One of the twins, too. You jerks. All right, whatever. The cool one's gonna be my friend. Really? Really? Surely not. Even I can't eat that much steak. XO, XO. No! Don't you XO. Oh. Oh! No! Wait! No! Don't hit him! No! We haven't tamed him! Like, oh god, no! Wait! Wait! Oh, what do I do? Okay, you know what? Um. Oh, panic situation. Alright, um. Uh. What? Steak! The. the it's more! And just. Wait, okay, no, you, we're, we're cool, right? Are we, are we bros now? Are we, no, we're not bros. Okay, so, just, I have 80 health, thank you for asking. I'm not asking you if you have 80 health! Stop being so defensive and territorial! My god, ladies, if this is what we've been putting you through, I am sorry. Um, literally, dude, you need to calm down. I get that you're in me, but that's not the way to do this, alright? We can... WAIT! I HAVE BACON! Bacon is the universal language of don't be idiots. <gasps> NO! It's so good that I can only feed it to myself! What have I done?! I have foiled my own plans! Alright, hold on. Steak. Yo. DUDE! How much steaks do you boys need?! You guys are fiends! Alright. We need to we need to go on an absolute butchering spree. And in retrospect, we kinda should move these spawners so they don't spawn them inside anymore. Wait, no, that's this is sheep. Nope, that is not sheep. Those are cows, alright. So flambe cow. Alright, so more flambe cow, more flambe cow, more flambe cow. Alright, so Thundra hat. Well, we are making progress in one arena. Unfortunately, it's not- Oh, and I don't have to worry about hitting him with my sword! That's nice! Alright. We have a friendly, fire-sensitive sword. Goodbye, cows! I need to feed my chocobros! Alright. Alright, I think 30 stakes, surely, is enough to at least convert one of these Really? I... I feel... Don't- Stop hitting him! Stop it! How do I know if he's like... Whoa! No! No, 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 no! Okay, okay, okay. So we're bros now. But stop hitting! I know he's kind of a... You know, not the coolest dude for wearing shades indoors, but... Dang, man! Good? Dang, we're all chocobros here. Okay, so you are also flirting with me. This is so awkward. Alright. And then we're just gonna just... Okay, so he's cool. He's down. And... What the crap? Oh, wait. Which one of you... Okay, the one that you're punching is clearly the one you do not like. Wait, nope. Okay, that one. No! He... <gasps> wait! Did you idiots just push party count into the... Okay, hold on. This is not okay. We're just gonna give him all- okay. Wait! Did you morons push Party Cow into the flame? Push Party Bull? Oh! Oh, Party Cow! Oh! Oh! Party Cow! Literally scared- you morons need to not be here right now. Just get over here. Get into the corner. Come on, Team Huddle! My god! God, you idiots. Alright. Oh. That was... Ah, brain is frizzled right now. We we almost lost Party Cow to morons. Like, come on, man. 
Oh, Saints preserve me. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna slash warp Quay storage, and I'm gonna pray to the gods that we have some rubies here. We're also coincidentally gonna be maybe getting to the elevator. Oh, that is some bad lag. That is some really bad stuff. Tur turbulence? Question mark. Oh, something terrible has happened. Okay. Let's banish that elevator down. We need some rubies. I think to make him stand still, it's still diamond, I would expect. I'm not entirely sure. But that would be my operating guess. Wait a minute. I had ruby block. Ah, that, there they are. Alright, so... Ruby blocks, I am under the impression, will silence them and make them shut up and not be idiots, hopefully. That's uh, not a guarantee, knowing that as a dude myself, I, you can't make me stop being an idiot. I don't care how hard you try, it's just not going to happen. But, we can try. At the very least, we can try. Much like how many girls around the world try every day to make us a little bit less stupid, we all say nope, dodge anything. Alright. We have gotten... Alright, so... Cool guy has one, so he shouldn't say any more awkward things to me and hit on me in public. I mean, privately, he may think whatever the heck he wants. I mean, we ain't together, though. Wait. What happened to the rest of you? Oh, no. I think Party Cow might have murdered the other Chocobros. And I can't really blame her, because they kind of pushed one of her guests into a lava pit, so I mean... Wait! Wait! More coming back! This, like, theatrical music is, like, it's all on point right now. Hold on. Maybe they just scatter to the winds? Is that what's going on here? Oh! There's another one. Alright. Okay. Okay, we're missing cool guy and we're missing main character guy. Cool guy, where are you? Cool guy! Main character, dude! Choka Bros Unite! Where are you? Don't understand. Where did you go? We have lost two Choka Bros in the process of this. How is that possible? Alright. Man, they must have just booked it or something. I don't understand how they... Yeah, we still have three. We had five. Where are they? Darn it. Something is so amiss right now, it kind of hurts. Alright. Oh, that's right. If I'm Hulk and I run, though, they can't catch up to me in time. Okay, we have three still. Alright, so we covered three. I'm just gonna crouch. I'm gonna, like, crouch glide. It's not even, like, walking. It's just glide. What the heck? Man, these twins are really confusing. <gasps> okay, come on. Come on. We Where is the cool guy, the main character? Cool guy, main character, where are you? Oi, oi, oi. These idiots better get their act together. Urgh. Okay, um. I don't know where they went. Maybe they're checking out the superhero armors in here? I don't understand. Where do they go? I'm seriously starting to get concerned. I feel like Party Cow might actually be planning a rebellion. Like, now that I think about it, she might have invited some cows over to be like, Listen, this Chocobo dude can't be trusted. Do not trust him. Oh, wait! There's Cool Guy and Main Character Guy! Wait, but why, why are you over here? Can I convince you to come back? Alright, well, we know where they are, and we can go pick them up. Wait. Wait, what... Oh, that was my two deaths. Well, I was like, what are those giant red squares? Alright. Alright. Come on, boys. We have to go pick up the other Choco Bros. And then we are going to work on getting you... Whoop. going to work on getting you geared. <laughs> Come on. Come on. You can do it. 
But I guess I can kind of, like, kind of speed it up, right? Yeah, I can kind of like coax him into coming over. Yep, come on. Come on. Come on. My god, this process. Alright. Still with me? Yeah, you are. Alright, come on. Alright. Close. We're getting close, boys. Because what we have to do after this is we have to gear them up. We have to start giving them, like, weapons and stuff. Because what I was actually thinking is, if they all run around with slices, number one, slices can't hit me. Alright! The squad's all together. Good job, boys. Alright. So we have a squad together, and these guys actually, it's good that we came over here because they have to guard the tree area because I don't want them in Quay City. That would just end badly for me, I think. Um, hmm, alright. So... I need to first do... Oh, no. Do I have sticks? Well, we have to have wood in here somewhere. Right? I surely wouldn't have been so crazy as to not leave any wood here at all. Oh, we got... Okay. Hold on, let's actually test this first. So, we gave him rubies... To... Oh, wait, we didn't shut everyone up. Hold on. Cool guy, where are you? Oh, main character guy. Okay, so there's main character guy. And cool guy. Alright, all of them are shut up now. Alright, so let's go ahead and take three of these big Berthas. And come out of here, boys. Come on. Front and center. Alright. You... Wait. No, don't take the dime. Wait, crap. How do I make you stay? I don't know. Hold on. That's what I'm talking about! Oh, baby! Alright. <laughs> this is crazy! Alright, 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 alright. All right. Um... I don't remember... Alright, hold on. We have to... I have to go look this up real quick, guys. Just one second. I just... We can do this, me and you. Alright. Okay, so diamonds do work, but you just need them to be holding it. Okay, so let me collect your let me collect your big berthas for a moment, guys. Right here. Um Let's move that aside for a moment. Here, I'm gonna collect your weapons. Oh, this is gonna be redonkulous! The crew is gonna be like swagged out, man. Holy jeeberwockies. Alright, so this is gonna be insane. Alright. There we go. There's one diamond for you to hold, another one for you to hold, another one for you, another one for you, and of course one for you. Wait, are you all holding diamonds? Alright. Let me just confirm that they're not being idiots. Confirmed. Alright. So now we need a slash quay neo storage. Oh, swag, man. I'm, I'm not gonna question you, party cow, but I'm not gonna lie, you're making me feel kind of nervous, like you're planning something or something. I, I just don't know how I feel about it. Alright. I'm gonna do that, and then we're gonna do slash... <gasps> nope, 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 nope. Can't lose that backpack. That backpack has some hearts in it. Alright. Alright. That could have been bad. Whoa, the turbulence! Alright. The turbulence makes me tap up it. Alright, um. Alright, let's collect this from you. Oh my lord, the turbulence is so real. Alright. You just, you just need to collect your diamonds. I'm not stealing them from you or anything. I'm not an Indian giver. It's just that you apparently don't know how to think unless I, you know, specifically do things. Alright. So. Um, actually, actually though, first order of business, I don't like them being Big Bertha's, I just don't like the way Big Bertha looks, so, what I would have liked to have done is to, aha, one, two, three, four, five, perfecto, and then, what do you even know about my swagger? You know nothing, Jon Snow, you know nothing. Alright, slice, slice. Slice and dice, baby. Oh no, but it's damaged! No, I call bullcrap on that. I call bullcrap. I call I call the bullcrap of the world. We're, we're gonna go into game mode and we're gonna restore it back to its healthy self because that is bullshrimp. So Bertha, just no. That never happened. We'll trade it out so it's fair, but that's bullshrimp. I don't know how it got damaged. Alright. 
And then slice. All right, cool. All right, front and center, boys. Front, front and center. All right. There you go, cool guy. Oh yeah! All right. Okay, come on, rude dude. All right, twins. There you go. And main character. <laughs> oh man! Oh baby! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! All right. Tell you what, we're gonna do a very like the fastest possible. Um, okay, we're gonna we're gonna cheat a little bit more. We're gonna get our, we're gonna get ourselves a termite. Yeah, we're gonna get, we're gonna give ourselves a termite. Just one second. Let me just um, because we're doing this for science. All right, so we'll slash i chest one. Let's plop that down and let's just go ahead and just dump all of our stuff into here. Because I want to see this in action, and I'm sure you guys do too. Oops, doodles. All right. Well, clearly we don't have enough room for everything, so we're gonna have to toss up some stuff. Namely the junk. And then we're gonna have to take our armor off. Because we're gonna have to be naked. Although I have a feeling that these boys wanna take advantage of this sex of body of mine. But it's okay. Because I don't think they're gonna do anything sketchy. Alright. So, termite. Except I probably can't summon it right here because they'll probably freak out because they have like 800 different things saying, like, don't do it, dude. Don't freaking do it. Because we have repellents freaking out the yin yang. Alright, um. Where can I spawn this? Well, I know I can spawn it inside. Yeah, let's go inside the ant nest because I know for a fact I can spawn them in there. Bertha's better. Um. Oh right! I completely forgot. Oh no! I forgot. Hold on, we're not done yet. Oh, I completely forgot about a good call stream. She was like, "Wait a minute, you can give him ultimate armor," and I was like, "Yes, that's." I don't even know how you swim in lava, but my god, are you a manly man. Um, it's kind of weird that I'm throwing apples as booty. Alright, so I need to make them ultimate armor now. So, we're going to need to go ahead and not be idiots, which is pretty hard for me. Because apparently my brain is just like, nope, not JPEG, not today, bro. But we can do it, because I believe. I said I believe, darn it. Alright, uranium ingots, titanium ingots, that should be more than enough. For, of course, our ultimate armor swag. And we need iron. Darn it. Alright, we have lots of iron in here, though. I have faith that we can make this work. Alright, so... We're gonna... Let's start from the... The boots. Okay, so... One... Two... Three... Four... And five. And then... We're gonna to have to make... Whoop, we have to make them... Some pants, because, you know... OH NO! Well, we just, we have lots of pants. No, I don't want you to hold it. How do you, how, how do you, wait, what? Oh no, I just equipped it. No, how do I give him ultimate armor? Wait a minute, hold on. Let us consult the interwebs. Um... Uh... Oh, okay, so I have to... Dad, gun it, man. I keep on botching these things. It's the simple things, dude. The simple things always get me. Alright. So we're burning a whole bunch of ultimate... Man, I remember back when that would have... I would have cried at the sight of that. I would have been like, You did what with our ultimate stuff? You know how hard it is to take it from that scary dragon? Now it's just like, lol, bro, what do you even want? I'm not even scared. Alright, so... Let's put the slices back. And... You know what, I know some of you guys are like, ah, oh, Bertha looks better, but, you know, it's my thing, man. I, I've i always... Wait. One of the twins is missing. Twin! You idiot, where are you? Nope, oh, there you are. Come here, moron. Come here. Nope! Wrong way. There you go. Alright. Alright. You all have boots. Alright. We're making progress. Alright, now you need some pants. Just realized you're all gonna look just about the same. But that's okay. You know what? I'm just gonna wear these because I don't wanna keep on having to fight them. Alright, and then. Where's the last one? Alright, rude dude. Why well, you got the base on rude? Because I got to give you pants, dude. Alright, there are ultimate leggings of the fire here. My god, this is a long episode. I was not. 
I was hoping not to do so many of these, but we are doing quite a few, and I have no regrets! Alright, so, we now need chests. Because... Oh no, we're out of iron! Say it ain't so! No! Okay, okay, it's alright, nobody panic. Sure. What? Okay. Surely. Surely. Come on, man. No! Iron, why have you betrayed me in my final hour? Alright, hold on. Alright, this is just becoming a hassle at this point. Come on. Come on, field trip. Come on. Out here. Got demons for you all. Alright. Stay here. Don't flip and move. Wait. Where's where's main character? Main character, where are you? Main character? Oh, what the crap? Where'd you Oh, were you up there? Alright. So slash warp quay neo storage. And you guys are getting crazy up in here. I don't know. Y'all doing some crazy stuff. Um, we need iron. But I'm in the wrong spot. My god, life without Hulk is so slow. Okay. Um. Um. Alright. Iron ingots. And we, I don't even have to worry about using too many of these because I have a bajillion from our mob grinder. But let me just go ahead and collect all these dim diamond. 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 Okay. Diamonds ba back. From our Choker Bros. Alright. They have been cooperative thus far. I like it. Alright. And Momo's girlfriend is hitting on me. It's very awkward. Um, okay, a one and a two and a three and a four and a five. All right, cool. And then we need to go ahead and make helmets. So you know, safe first, guys. What in the world? All right, one. What the heck? One, two, three, four, and of course five. In retrospect, I probably could have just taken the amount of iron and just made it whatever the number I wanted was, but you know what? That's too hard. Life is too dadgum hard for that. Uh, okay. Well, I might as well... Okay, whatever. Um, up. Alright. Whoop, I almost spawned a termite on your face. That would not have been what I wanted to do. I also am not really sure where that helmet just went. Pretty sure it's on my head. Yes, it's back on my head. All right. Darn it. All right, Scuba Steve. Main character, one for you. One for you, cool guy. And I believe one of the twins is missing one now. Yo, twin. That's right. Get your booty over here. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Please, no. I don't want to be... Hulk helmet, where are you? I need both of you. All right. So, off me. There we go. Meow, 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 meow. All right. And then... There we go. Suits on. Listen to this legendary music as this is going on. Oh, the Choker Bros are ready for combat. Now with their swords, we shall ride to battle. Oh, this music is just perfect. It's spot on. All right. Oh, oh, oh. oh I ain't scared of no ghost. I guess the next step would be to try and find a royal guardian thing, huh? And then just go absolutely ham Tara. Hold on. Alright. My gosh, guys. We are going to go just wreck a sword. Look at them. We have a legion. Oh, I hope you guys are going to love this. Because this is this is nuts. Wait, we're, get over here, you morons. Alright, so one thing about the Choker Bros here. This is not true of Choker Bros everywhere. But these particular Choker Bros are kind of morons. It's, it's not healthy. Let's put it that way. Well, they, they are really good at lining up. I, I must admit, they are quite adept at that. Alright, whatever. We can just drop another termite in here. Um, okay. You ready, boys? Oh, wait. I have stuff in my inventory. You know what? Sacrifices must be made in times of war and need. Alright. Alright. We'll be back for that stuff later, maybe. But just, I want to take them for a test spin. If I can ever click on a termite. Why can't I? Because I have Mobzilla and... Uh, and go away with you. All right, let's try it one more time. To the crystal dimension. And for those of you who do not know what is going on, I 
despise Crystal Dimension because Crystal Dimension was a jerk to me. And it was it was so rude and it was just like dude, so rude. Why are you going to be so rude though? And it was just it was it was bad. Cause like this place was just it it was just mean. Like these mobs just, they did things to me, man. It was bad. All right, it's Geronimo off there. And I whoop, sorry, dude. You're okay though. I can't actually hit you. All right, beat these rotators down. Come on, guys. Oh, that thing just got butchered. Like, get wrecked. All right, hold on. The one place I want to go with these guys. Okay, so if you see down there, if you guys have not seen that episode, which you totally should, by the way. Wink, wink. But if you uh, don't know what's going on right now, underneath us, there's like this weird labyrinthy thing. And in that labyrinth, um, you actually can... You run into like dungeon beasts and stuff. And there's... It's not like they have great armor or anything down there, per se. But you needed to come to this dimension for vortexes. Now, vortexes do spawn on those trees and stuff, but frankly, I know that these guys would wreck it, and I don't know if I want to go on a journey quite right this minute to go find one. What am I doing with my life? All right. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go down to the very bottom here, and I am going to just let these boys go to work on some of those dungeon beasts and stuff that they, they just, they were mean to me, and I, I, I want vengeance, darn it. I'm like Batman. I, I need vengeance in my life. All right, so... I think stone, yeah, okay, this is stone equivalent. Just gonna mine on down. We're gonna go into the labyrinth, and we are going. What? No! No! Okay, wait. All right, we're good. All right, epic music. Come on, digging down. We're digging down. I'm yelling, digger. We gonna wreck all these mobs. Come on, baby. I just want to wreck their day with my choco bros. But like, look at them! They're just like... Okay, well... They're... <laughs> they're apparently also very adept at cheating. Apparently, what we did not know about these Chocobros is that they're like... Able to not have to be in... Air. They just kind of do their own... I don't know. I... I if I could explain Chocobros to you, like, of these nature, I just... I, I don't know. They, they can swim in lava, they can not need air, I just... I can't explain it to you. But we are making our way down! into the depths of this dungeon and we are going to Rekasaurus Rex them all and by we I mean they because I have I have a crew now the Choker Bros don't mess about now the only bad thing and you know quote unquote bad thing is that these dudes will not PV well, they won't PVP um, and that's I think that's more of a quality of life thing more than anything. what are you serious no way what? I'm so close though! Dude! Dude, no! Okay, if it keeps doing this, I might resort to another cheat and just break through one thing of bed. Yeah, okay, no, I'm not dealing with this crap. Alright. Nero, Nero. Alright, cool, we're down. <laughs> I just wanted to go into the dungeon! Alright. Oh no, a dungeon beast! Choker Bros unite! Choker Bros! Choker Bros! Oh yeah! Oh dang, that thing just went flying. Oh baby! Dude, the crew is rolling! Guys. Guys. We are gonna try. Oh man, oh man. Oh wait. Oh crap, I didn't even think about that. This tragic music was foreshadowing! How do I get home? Wait, no, we can make this work. With the power of cheats, we can bring them all home. With the power of cheating. Okay, hold on. Brown ants. Okay, brown ants, don't let me down now. Come on, buddy. All right. Slash GM zero. Brown ant, send us home, buddy. All right. Whew. Dodged a bullet. All right. And you know what? We have to. We have, oh no 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 no! We're not gonna do that. We're, I was gonna be like, we, I want to try one more thing, but we're gonna save that for another day. I'm thinking we might see how OP this crew is, but it is not today. 
but we would do it another time for sure because this is OP. I wonder why no one's done it. Probably because it's OP. But you know what? At this point, we were already OP. This just makes us more OP. And eventually, I'm going to probably look to gear them with Royal Guardian Swats. Could you imagine that? Five dudes running around with Royal Guardian Swords. And, they, and the thing is, it's no risk to me. They, even if they swing near me, I'll never get hit. So this actually protects me a little bit as well. So I'm going to have a crew of five dudes in ultimate armor, which isn't, you know, it's not great, but it's not bad. It'll def- what the heck happened here? Something is amiss. Someone has been here and has ruined my fence. Hmm. Alright, well, we do not have a real way to fix this, so we're gonna have to fix this in a fake way. No! Wait, what the crap? No, give me- okay. One minute, dude. Okay. Ugh, tell you, man. Sometimes, sometimes the life of a chocobo is very hard, very, very difficult. All right. So, uh, come on. I like the little engine that could. Come on. Okay. We have to get to the. We must get back to the the what you call it, the uh, bug area, so we can get the diamonds. We can make them all just hang out here, and then we'll be good to go. I think I want to leave them here though. Because traveling with them is not the most fun. That's actually one thing that I kind of wish wasn't such a hassle. But you know what? For the for what we get, I'm willing to put up with it whenever I want to put up with it. Um, and that's totally fine by me. Because these dudes... This is like running with a full party right now. Because they may not have strength buffs, but my gosh, are they wreck rooney strong. Alright. So we got ourselves our stuff back. We also came back with a poison sword. So, you know... That's always good. But, we need to drop this off somewhere. Over the rainbow. Come on. Oh, I'm hungry too. Alright. We have our diamonds and all this junk, but we're going to drop this stuff off in the chest first. Except for that, because that's blatantly cheated. And, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Just restore our field of vision, because it... it it's actually really weird. Like, I don't think you guys understand how strange it is for me to play without that at this point. It's just like, that's how that's how crazy craft. And in turn, if I play this for a long time and I haven't played regular Minecraft, I don't remember for a while what it's like to play without that field of vision, without that speed, and it just weirds me out. I'm just like, this ain't right. This isn't this isn't Minecraft. This is like some other terrible game. Like, what the crap? All right, come here, boys. Come on. Assemble like Thundercats. All right, you are not exactly in position, but we're gonna consider that a win. And hold on, let me just uh, here. I'm gonna give you this, and I'm gonna just kind of nudge you. Oh yeah, look at that. Hold on. Whoa! Oh, we got five dollar donation from K. Holy dang! Thank you very much, K. You too kind. K, don't go overboard though. I know you like to go overboard. Don't do it. I know what you're thinking. Resist temptation, K. Telling you, girl, you better resist temptation the best you can. All right, wait. <gasps> no, some durability got knocked off. All right, well, whatever. We can we can live with that. We're gonna actually drop these off in here, and then, yep, we're gonna get these. And I think that is, yeah, we can. Oh, and gold lasso. And everything else we can leave in here. I'm not too worried about it. Cool. And we have our bacon. We got our golden lassos. And all that good stuff. All right. And I think that's a wrap for this episode. If you did enjoy, guys, be sure to go ahead and like the video down below. Comment down what you'd like to see next. And, of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more daily uh, Minecraft content. Well, usually daily. A couple times I kind of goof and stuff. But, you know, don't judge me. But I will see you guys next time. Ciao for now.